Welcome everyone, Dr. Mandel here with you. Hope you're having a pleasant day or night, regardless of where you are worldwide. This particular information I think is very important, talking about aspirin. Now there are millions and millions of people throughout the world who take aspirin. In prevention of heart attacks, strokes, or even people who have had heart attacks and strokes, <clears throat> they want to keep the blood thin so the platelets do not uh, coagulate and get thick, which can affect the heart or the brain. Let's look here briefly. Uh, if you look at the heart here, <clears throat> just a picture showing a heart. What happens in a heart attack is that when the blood tries to get to the heart through the coronary arteries, um, you get less blood supply because there's clogging in there and the blood can't get through, so they call it a heart attack. Now, if you look at uh, here, a stroke, the same thing. Blood's trying to get to the brain, goes up through the artery uh, or arteries, and if one of those arteries become blocked, uh, then the blood doesn't get there, then it's called a stroke. And obviously, if the blood doesn't get to the, to the lung uh, or wherever it is, it's going to die or potentially have uh, serious problems. So we need oxygen everywhere. So the next step I wanted to share with people um, when is the best time to take aspirin? Now, most people take aspirin in the morning here in the Western civilization. Although, an interesting study that I was reading uh, in the uh, Leiden University Medical Center in the Netherlands, particularly on the other side of the world, they're saying the best time to take aspirin. Uh, by the way, a baby aspirin is uh, <clears throat> 81 milligrams. A regular aspirin is 325 milligrams. The study that they used was 100 milligrams. And what they did... Uh, very simple is that uh, they had many people, and they half the people took aspirin in the morning, half took it at night. Let's go over here and just show you briefly uh, when we're talking about uh, platelets. Uh, these are blood platelets. I'm going I'm to continue on with my study here. Uh, but what they found that the people who took it at night, they noticed that the blood platelets were thinner in the morning. Now realize that, um, let me come back here, platelets coagulate the most in the morning, period. And they realized that when you took the baby aspirin at night, you had less coagulation, obviously less problems of stroke and heart attack because it was taken closer to the morning. Most strokes, most heart attacks occur in the early morning hours. That's proven. You can read the research anywhere uh, on Google, wherever you want to look at that. But most heart attacks occur first thing early in the morning due to this platelet aggregation um, when the platelets start to clot. So we look at aspirin here and the purpose here is I want to bring out is that you might want to speak with your doctor and I think it's important then and realize that if you're taking aspirin, a baby aspirin uh, in prevention um, or a regular aspirin or a quarter or half of a regular aspirin in prevention. Uh, people do this. Doctors put people on it right away. They may have high cholesterol. They may have uh, more clotting, whatever it may show in their blood work. They do it as a palliatives to make sure you don't have a stroke or make sure you don't have a heart attack. But this study shows that taking it at night, it prevents and slows down that aggregation of clotting because that's when plate, platelets clot, clot most. So when platelets clot, they become thicker, they, less, they allow, allow less blood flow to make it through the artery to the organ, if it's the heart or the brain. I thought that was really important information, and I just wanted to share that with you, but I do stress that you do speak to your doctor and uh, see what he or she has to say. Um, I ask you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so you can continue to get the cutting edge information. Check me out on Facebook, Motivational Doc. Check out my videos, my self-help videos here on uh, this channel, Motivational Doc. I wish everyone many blessings uh, to you and your family and a lot of love. Bye-bye now.